Welcome back everybody to Madden 17. My name is Mr. Hurricane and I'm back with more draft champions today continuing on with the same team I've already posted two videos of. So if you want to watch the draft in those first two games those videos are on my channel. But I am 2-0 with this team and the defense that I constructed is a lot of fun to use. It's very rewarding to be able to get guys like Melvin Ingram and Javon Curse especially and to get the pressure you expect from those guys and have a defense that rewards me for the way that I drafted. I focused on defense mainly in this draft and it's really paid off. But here on third down, my opponent rolls out. I've seen this John Elway a couple times already. And there he scrambles for a 19 yard gain. He gets a first and 10, fakes the handoff and that's complete. He spins off a tackler and he has room to run up the sideline. I knocked the football out here with Cam Chancellor, but it was out of bounds. So my opponent is in the red zone. Here he is with John Elway going short with it and that puts him close to the first down marker. We're trying to hold here in the red zone on second down. They call the screen and they don't throw it in time. There's a half sack for Melvin Ingram. And I'm in good shape to force a field goal, Troy. I play cover two here and he unleashes the C route. A perfect call against it. There's a tight window but the throw is on target and my opponent goes up by a touchdown. However, can he go up by seven? Nope. Pushing that extra point wide right, it's still six to nothing. I missed three extra points in that last video though, so I'm seeing a lot of people struggling with the kicking, including this opponent of mine who kicks this out of bounds. I get the football at the 40. And after the last game, I wanted to run the football more with Latavius Murray, but nothing there up the middle, so I have to go to the air on second and long. There is Michael Pruitt, who puts me at the 47-yard line. But then to convert on third, down and three, I go three receivers. I'm going to swing it out here to Latavius Murray, and that gets the first down yardage. We're into opposing territory now. And with a fresh set of downs, I want to go back to the running game. High snap and another loss here in the backfield. We face second and long again. And there we go, play action, bubble screen Amari Cooper, he breaks one tackle, and that's going to take him all the way for a touchdown. I used a lot more of those bubble screens in that previous episode, and I think there are going to be a lot of situations where it's useful this year. Now, I didn't do a good job here with the meter, but I still sneaked that one inside the left upright, so I'm up by one at this point, late in the first quarter. My opponent tries to scramble out here with John Elway with the defense. Look how fast they are. It's not going to be as easy as last year to scramble out and make plays. On second and 10, we're getting pressure again. Ingram chasing Elway. He goes across his body to try and make something happen, and he's lucky that wasn't picked off. To end the first quarter on third and 10, here's my opponent trying to drop this off to his tailback, and it's intercepted off the deflection by Cam Chancellor. This playmaking defense of mine has forced a ton of turnovers. That's a cool look there off the deflection. And here we go trying to extend the lead. Roethlisberger on first and 10. I'm nearly giving this one back to a zone dropping defensive lineman. Can I clean up the offense on third down? I'm targeting Lockett down the middle, but he can't hang on through all the contact. So now a 40 yard field goal. I've wanted to try more of these mid-range field goals with the meter, and I hit this one with Andrew Franks to make it 10 to six. My opponent takes over again, and he goes right back to the air on a deep drop. He tries to go up the seam, and that is incomplete. Chancellor helps break it up. You have to find more ways to move the football this year, and there's a great run stop by Ian Williams on Antonio Andrews. He stuck with his base running back. Then third and 11, he dumps it off. And the tackle is made by Ray Mawaluga, but he's going for it on fourth and three. He goes empty. I'm here with Mawaluga, and it doesn't matter. That is a first down completion to his tight end, to his 33-yard line. You can see me stacking the box against a two tight end look, and he's throwing again, and Saliga throws down John Elway. He has one and a half sacks now. Not much you could do there with a the quick pressure. And then catching me off guard on third down, he goes zone read with John Elway, and I give up a first down run to his 45 yard line. We are inside two minutes at this point. It's first and 10, now he goes play action. Good protection and a good pass up the field to my 33 yard line. So he's starting to get more of a rhythm on this possession. And then tries to get some rushing yards but runs into four defenders. I just love how good the run defense can be this year when you're set up properly. 
Third and eight, and that is intercepted. Ray Mauluga. I really overlooked how big of an addition he was. It's an 85 overall card with good speed, coverage ability, and I've really enjoyed having him on this team. I'm thinking about Ultimate Team when I eventually get there and wanting to seek this card out as an inside linebacker. So I have less than a minute to go to try and get some points before the half as I get close to the first down here. 23 seconds left, third and inches. I'm trying to stretch the field. It is Des Bryant downfield at the 25 yard line. I call my second timeout. Is it time to go to the end zone? Of course it is. Deep downfield, it's Des Bryant. Clean release off the line with no safety help. Of course we're taking that chance. I believe that was a base cornerback covering him, by the way. Now I missed the extra point here, so it's gonna be a 10 point game as we still have seven seconds to go in this half. And there is a play action. Elway crushed, sails it deep, and that is incomplete. We're denying all these deep passes. He has one second left, he wants to try it again. But watch out, it's a fumble again! Scooped up, Mauluga back on his feet, touchdown! Don't be careless with your quarterback this year. He's gonna get sacked more, he's going to fumble more if you're focused on throwing the football deep all the time. There is the quit, I get my third victory, and here is a replay of that sack fumble that was Melvin Ingram, and then Ray Mauluga able to quickly get back on his feet to score the touchdown. That makes me 3-0 with this team, looking to win the championship. We're up against Herman Moore, Chris Harris, and Cam Chancellor this time, so two of the top three are players I have as well. I have the football first this time. Let's try running the football. Latavius Murray is wrapped up after a four-yard pickup. Now it's time to go back to the air. Third and six. I floated outside to the right, and Murray doesn't get there. Didn't read the field very well on that left side, obviously. So it's time to punt here with Pat O'Donnell, my base punter. And watch this. Inside the ten, bouncing out of the one-yard line. Picture-perfect punt there by Pat O'Donnell. It is first down for my opponent. I come right through the middle, but he gets it away in time with Drew Brees. Can we stuff the run? Todd Gurley gets out of the end zone and is able to muscle forward for a five yard pickup. That makes it third down and four. My opponent against the blitz gets it away and that is on target for Jimmy Graham with a really nice catch animation there and some extra yards after the fact. He gets out to his own 33-yard line, hands off Gurley, and a big tackle made there by Chris Harris. That may have saved the touchdown. Instead, a two-yard pickup, and Melvin Ingram comes back again. Another sack fumble. My opponent keeps the football, but he backs up all the way to the 24 to make it third and 20. Hoping to prevent the big play. This is Breeze to the outside, and I give up more yards than I would have liked because I know they're probably going to go for it. Fourth down and five. They're gonna keep it in the air, but look at the zone coverage downfield. Ray Mauluga there to help break it up. Just take a second look. Perfect coverage. The drag is even picked up, and there's just nothing you can do down the middle against that cover three look. So I take over on downs. Here's Latavius Murray across the 30, and he picks up first down yardage. Now we're gonna go back to the air to start the second quarter. Little fake. And pressure's there, now I go down against Perry Riley on the linebacker blitz. So I face a third and 20 now. I'm going bubble screen, I'm playing it safe here, just trying to get a little bit closer. And I make it a 48 yard field goal try with Andrew Franks. And thankfully with these longer field goals, I have done a better job with that kick meter. And I hit this field goal to make it three nothing. Back to defense, my opponent takes over. Too much pressure, guys. It's Javon Curse this time. That backs him up, third down and 19. We're not getting the pressure this time, so he sails it deep, and that's Chris Harris taking it out of the air. I'm surprised it took that long for me to get a turnover with Chris Harris, but he wasn't tested very often. I try to go run the football here, and I'm back to struggling. So third down and nine, I empty things out. Here's Big Ben over the middle, complete to Cooper. And I'm going to go for it here at my opponent's 39-yard line. However, against the stack box, I call a shotgun counter, and I lose yardage as pretty much expected. So bad call by me. 
We go back to my opponent, and pressure gets there before he's ready. And we take the football back. It's Ray Mawaluga again with the fumble recovery. I haven't tested this much, but maybe those screens when under center are a bad idea this year. I almost gave it right back right afterwards, trying to hit that comeback to Des Bryant. I luckily keep the football, but still can't find much here on the ground as I get stuffed for a loss. Here is third and 12, and Des Bryant works himself open. I call the hot route to do just that, but for some reason I didn't throw it. I was looking elsewhere, and I end up getting sacked, so I don't score. It's still only 3-0 in the first half. My opponent has the football, and that is dropped by Tyran Matthews. So two drop picks in very similar fashion. Then with 37 seconds, Drew Brees is intercepted by TJ Carey. Looking for Jimmy Graham there. The turnovers just keep on coming. We go back to the offense. Swing right, Latavius Murray is losing yardage here. I'm still adapting quite a bit to this zone coverage. It's making me be a little bit more careful and dump it off a little more. There is Amari Cooper on the reception as we do move the chains. Can we get to the end zone? Big Ben's going to try it here, and Tyler Lockett comes away with the football. You can see my opponent try to play the football and come up empty. You want to rely more on the swap mechanic this year when it's not going to be an easy interception. So I'm up 10-0 going into the second half, and Herman Moore damn field makes the fantastic grab on Tyran Matthew. But those big plays against my secondary didn't happen very often. And here's Todd Gurley. He slips a tackle, keeps his footing, and he powers down to the five-yard line. I think the power backs this year are going to be the most fun ones to use. On second down and goal, we have the hard flat out there with Chris Harris, one of my favorite new zone techniques. So we stop that. Third and goal. Jump ball and triple coverage. Intercepted by Ray Mawaluga, the turnover machine. I didn't expect him to be the star of this defense when I drafted him. I had Levante, David, whom we haven't seen that much. Of course, all the secondary players. But he's just been right place, right time, and has made a bunch of plays for me, even when they're not given to him. So I'm up 10-0, get the football back, and there's nobody covering Tyler Lockett out there. And the ankle tackle stops his gain at the 35-yard line. Then I go play fake. We're going to go to the right side. Des Bryant, nice spin. He gets a block, and that's going to spring him to the end zone, diving in to make it 17-0. to zero. I scored so many touchdowns with Des Bryant in this run. It's 17-0, and my opponent tries to start putting a dent in this lead as Todd Gurley gets the first down on the screen. The third quarter is coming to an end. He's going deep again, and that's Herman Moore beating Tyran Matthew with the speed. I made the mistake there of being in press coverage, and Moore got a good release. But still, my opponent will be held to six points as he misses the extra point. Up by 11 now in the fourth quarter. This is a third down for me, and I didn't see the pressure there. I wasn't dealing with as much pressure as my opponents in this draft champion's run. I only drafted one offensive lineman, but I'm thinking my opponents didn't focus much on their defensive lines. This is a third down for my opponent. He has Drew Brees drifting back and is intercepted. Ray Mawaluga yet again. There is the user pick, his second INT of the game. I was just focusing on the clock mainly. Here's a third and 13 and a backwards bubble screen that loses yardage. And we run the clock inside two minutes. So it's time to go back to Pat O'Donnell. Earlier, he kicked one out at the one-yard line. Now he drops it at the five-yard line, and it takes a rest there at the four. My opponent has less than a minute and a half to complete this comeback as Herman Moore cannot hang on to the pass. The contested catches have gotten much harder to convert. On fourth and one, I give up the first down yardage here to Stephon Diggs. I guess wrong when the pass would have been thrown. So he gets up to the 24-yard line, then Drew Brees on first down, tries to go deep again. That's tipped away from Herman Moore. In the offset eye this time, my opponent passes again. There's Melvin Ingram, though, the spin move. But Brees stays on his feet, throws it across the field, and that's a first down to Diggs. Crazy play there. Nearly had the sack. I dove for the pick. Both failed. And then my opponent going deep again. Chris Harris tips it. And Ray Mawaluga nearly picks it off again. We're now down to 50 seconds on the clock as Mawaluga breaks up that pass. I just can't get over how good this court has played. Third and 10, play fake and beating Reggie Nelson down the middle. They're getting inside the five yard line. 
So we give up the big play and with 30 seconds left, Todd Gurley fights through Ray Mawaluga to the end zone to make it a one score game. I'm up by five at this point, here is a two point try. And I didn't expect Drew Brees to run for this one as they make it 17 to 14. Now if we recover the onside kick, it's over and we do just that. Amari Cooper scoops it up and I have completed my first draft champions event, winning all four games and getting that reward that you're going to see open tier in just a few moments. I really enjoyed playing with this team. The defense was perfectly set up. I could have used better offense, I thought, but that defense was an offense on its own. They had a bunch of touchdowns and sack fumbles, and Ray Maualuga was fantastic. So that was a fun team, guys. Get those pass rushers. And also those secondary players to go take the football away. So here is my four-win head-to-head draft champions pack. There's Matt Flynn and Sean McGrath. We're still stuck in the 60s here. I get an elite Madden 17 badge. And my gold player is Morgan Moses, a 75. Not very impressive, but it's on Xbox. I don't have my ultimate team on this console, so it's all right. Hope you guys enjoyed this run of draft champions here on Madden 17. I had a great time with this team, and I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. I will have much more draft champions content coming your way, especially when I can start playing the PlayStation 4 version and work towards players for my ultimate team that I'm excited to get going with. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for much more Madden 17 content, leave your feedback down below, and I'll see you guys later. Jags franchise is still coming up tonight. It'll be up here in a little bit. Have a great day.